Oh, what is up guys? Jack from The Modern Coder, recording this video for the second time because I deleted the original. Oh, it's great. Anyway, this is another coding tip of the day. Inspiration comes from a friend um, who's doing some WordPress theming, kind of wanted to take that to the next level. And the way to do that is install WordPress locally on your computer so you have full access to all the source code and you don't have to use WordPress as just, just garbage garbage in browser code editor. The basics, how to install WordPress locally should take less than five minutes, super simple, so let's just dive right in. So the first thing you wanna do is install a server and database. WordPress needs both of these to run, and fortunately there's a program called MAMP which makes this super easy. It's an application you can download which will provide you with a server architecture and a database um, all in one, easy to use interface, it's great. So we're just gonna to go to MAMP's website, mamp.info, downloads and we're going to go ahead and download the application. So while that's downloading, I'll just do a quick overview of how WordPress works. So WordPress is written in PHP, which is a server side programming language and your browser can't understand raw PHP um, without it being compiled first by a server. So that's what MAMP is providing. They're actually running an Apache server, which is an open source server architecture. Um, on your computer. And then the second thing that WordPress needs to run is a database and WordPress uses this to keep track of like post info, usernames, passwords, stuff like that. So if you have those two things, WordPress should be good to go and able to run. So now this is downloaded. We're just going to go ahead and click it um, to get the, to get the application installer running. And I'm just going to click through and just do change nothing, all the defaults. Um, okay, cool. So this is going to take a little bit. So while this is installing, let's go ahead and download the WordPress, uh, download WordPress. So if you go to wordpress.org slash download, you should be able to get the latest version. That's downloaded. Let's just open it up and unzip it. Okay, so we're not gonna do anything with this folder until MAMP is installed. So just remember where it is. In my case, it's in slash downloads and let's Let's cut back to when uh, this is finished installing. Okay, and we're back. So once MAMP has finished installing, you're gonna go ahead and go to where it installed it. So if you're on OS X, that's gonna be in your applications folder under MAMP. If you're on Windows, this is the same process, but I don't know where Windows installs it. Um, just pay attention to your installer. Um, okay, so then here is the application. We're just gonna run it. As you can see, you have a few options, um, but we're only really concerned about this power button here. So when we click this, it's going to start the MySQL database server and the Apache um, web server. So both of these are required for WordPress to run. So we're going to click the power button and it's going to start up now. And you can see them both go green. Then you know you're good to go. And MAMP will automatically pop up um, a window. So there you go. So now you can access your locally running server on localhost colon 8888. It's a special URL. Pretty standard. Okay, so now we're ready to install WordPress. But before we go off this page, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the PHP My Admin link here, which is the database um, admin panel. And I'm gonna to go to databases here, and I'm gonna go and create a new database. So in this case, I'm gonna create one just named WordPress, and I'll click Create. So that's the only pre-step we need here for now. So we're gonna go ahead and close this and then just take a note and remember the username and password for the database here. In this case, it's just root root. So that's pretty easy to remember. Okay, great. Now that we have our server running, we can go ahead and put our downloaded WordPress files in a place where the MAMP Apache server can find them. So if you can go ahead and open up the MAMP folder again, and we're going to go into this special htdocs folder. And this is where MAMP is going to look for those files. And we're just going to take the WordPress source code and drag it over here. So now Apache and MAMP knows where to look for it. And if we open up a browser again, open up a new tab here, navigate to localhost colon 8888 slash, now this time WordPress, we should be greeted with, there you go, the WordPress installation screen. So now we know WordPress is like up and running and now we just have to set it up. So we'll just follow the wizard here the database name is the one we just created, which is called WordPress. The username is just that root root from before. Um, leave everything else. Uh, database host local, that's fine. WP underscore, that's totally fine too. So click submit. This is going to go ahead and let us continue. So site title, whatever you want. 
username and password and we'll click install cool so now we should be up and running so let's just log in and drum roll hey we have a wordpress site and we're automatically logged into the admin panel but if you go ahead and visit your site you can see i have a blank wordpress installation here i can play around with um everything's the same so you can go to you know wp admin to access the admin panel and the cool thing here is now if you go over to appearance and themes oh my computer's going crazy um I don't know if the microphone could pick that up. Um, if you go over to appearance themes, you can see that we have our three base themes. But now if we go back to our applications folder and our MAMP installation, and we navigate to htdocs, that WordPress folder that we downloaded and dragged over here, the wp-content folder and the themes folder, you can see that here are the source code folders for each of these three themes. And if we wanted to go ahead and create our custom theme or a custom theme, all we need to do is just um, copy and paste um, one of these theme directories and you know rename it my cool theme, enter. And then if we go over here and refresh, you can see that now I have my cool theme. And if I want to go ahead and edit that, I can just open up this folder in the text editor of my choice and I can go to town. This is way better than using that online code editor. And now all your changes can stay isolated locally on your localhost colon 8888 server without needing to worry about it messing up your live instance of your WordPress site. Who? anyway, I'm rambling. That is it. Um, you have any questions, leave it in the comments. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing to the channel. I do videos like this every week and leave a like if you found it helpful. And I think that's it. Hope this works out for you. Hope you have a great day and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.